In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, a tree stump of sorts on a different planet, Earth has a new companion, and the International Space Station will come crashing to Earth sooner than you think. It's time for your Space Roundup. At first glance, it looks like a giant tree stump, but this is actually an ice-rich crater on Mars. This is Acidalia planitia, which is part of the planet's northern plains. Just like tree rings can give us details about the Earth's past climates, the patterns in this crater can show us the history of the red planet. Scientists are debating if this area once contained ice-covered bodies of water. Now to the Earth, where it appears our planet has a new companion, rather a rare asteroid companion. When we say it's a companion, what we mean is the asteroid called 2020 XL5 is sharing its orbit with Earth. Also known as a Trojan asteroid, this is the second of its kind discovered for Earth. Now this makes the asteroid easier to reach and scientists say that may help guide future space missions. These asteroids can also shed light on the early days of our solar system. Lead researcher Tony Santana Ross at the Institute of Cosmos Sciences of the University of Barcelona says, Asteroids are time capsules from the earliest days of our solar system and can teach us a lot about the era of planetary formation. Finding an Earth Trojan made of material left over from Earth's formation would be incredibly helpful for unraveling many secrets of the early solar system. Finally, to the International Space Station now, where the ISS will soon meet a watery end. And Tom, if it's okay with you, I'm going to stick my feet out the hatch while I work my bag. Yeah, it's clear. NASA is retiring the International Space Station in January of 2031. The agency plans to crash the ISS into the most remote part of the Pacific Ocean, known as Point Nemo. That's been the crash area for hundreds of pieces of space debris over the years. The ISS launched back in 2000 and has orbited 227 nautical miles above Earth and has been the home to more than 200 astronauts from 19 countries. Absolutely fascinating. The end of an era with the International Space Station coming down to Earth less than 10 years from now. But NASA says it will still uh, explore in space. They're just going to rely more heavily on the private sector. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you. Always very cool stuff, Andrew. Thank you so much. Yeah, so fascinating and incredible to think that we'll have another update in less than a decade. <laughs> no. <laughs>